for this week question velocity is a proxy for productivity of your team uh, as per my opinion i don't think velocity is a proxy for productivity we can't consider if i take in the typical science language velocity is the speed of something in a given direction okay on the other hand productivity is something state or quality of being productive how productive am i in the specified time or in the specified uh, speed or something like that okay like burn down charts cumulative flow diagram it's just a matrix similarly velocity is also just a matrix to reach my goal or a destination or i can predict this is what my velocity and this much work i can accommodate for this iteration or for this sprint okay um maybe for planning purpose i can use this velocity to calculate uh, how much story points or user story not story points user stories i can pick for this print up and again it's a kind of lean thinking as well i could say knowing that how much your team can uh, accommodate few things okay velocity is something very static until the team is so constant if suppose some changes say for an instance i want to automate something i'm bringing up some innovations i want to do some kind of poc for that innovation then that time definitely my velocity will change for sure okay it it just started till nothing has changed nothing is brought to in, brought into picture and again if i'm bringing some changes like pair programming or uh, some other testing different uh, testing kind of things then the velocity will get change up um, velocity is more of quantity of work completed quantity of work completed okay uh, productivity is something like how efficiently we are doing something okay but velocity is how much you did if we look into this picture look into this things how efficiently we are doing things really matters not how much work you did okay before whenever we are pitching into whatever work uh, it may be home, house chores even or uh, is it a big business or if you are an entrepreneur we have to have this three questions in place is it right to compare the teams or compare ourselves with respect to the velocity what we are delivering or what they deliver okay is it right comparison and is productive of the team adding value to the customers okay we are doing so much of things so many things but i'm i'm doing see my customer asks us something but i'm doing so many things and so many items i'm delivering but how much value really it is adding to me or to my customer that question we have to post whatever work we are doing anybody cares about business value delivered by the team okay it's not like this print i took some 100 story points and i achieved this 100 story points and delivered but how much business value it added that is the thing we need to consider so three things we need to consider all the time so productivity is something very efficient use of resource or capital any investments we are doing or land or material even a resource some time everything okay how efficiently we are using this time or resource or material that is how we have to calculate uh say for an instance if i want to have this as an example of course i read so many things before drafting a video or before drafting something uh this as well i got from linkedin uh, which makes some sense for me at least uh if i'm carrying say assume assume i'm having some piles of rock over there i'm carrying few rocks by hand so it may be i may carry some 2 kg of rocks from one place to another place okay if i'm continuing on the same thing with my hands i will be carrying 2 uh, kg that is that is how that is what i am about to deliver that is my velocity i can do if i am using some sacks okay if i am using some sacks probably i could have i could carry uh, more than 5 kg okay more than 2 kg like 5 kg i can do and i can deliver the rocks again same rocks okay so my velocity will be 5 kg i can in, i improve 5 kg because i'm using sack here to lift this item assume i'm having some gold box piles of gold box and piles of silver box and piles of rocks if i'm carrying using the same sack if i'm carrying the gold 
then the value what I am adding or delivering to the thing is something different. So that is very productive. The same sock, same hour I am going to spend to carry the item. But the value what I did is something different. Okay, it's efficient spending up. Similarly, compared to rock, if I am carrying a pile of or a, a sack of, okay, 5 kgs of uh, silver, that value is something different. So how efficiently I am using and what is the value I am adding to this um, customers okay, productively that is that matters not the item what we deliver so as per me velocity is not the proxy for productivity productivity is something different okay a person can do n number of works per day but how much value he added to himself or how much productively he did or he accomplished this task how efficiently he did okay everyone is cooking in a, in a simple term or in a layman example but how long we are spending that one and what dish we are making and how tasty it is at the end. So that needs to be really calculated or really we have to keep in mind when we are doing something. So productivity is something different. As it, it, it cannot be compared with the velocity what we deliver. So we cannot ask the team uh, this is uh, how productive uh, you are based on the velocity and all. Okay. Okay. Thank you. For today's question, uh, if velocity is a proxy for productivity, the TLDR response is no, and it can never be a proxy for productivity. Let's break it down. Productivity or being productive is the amount of input efforts in comparison to uh, the output and understanding what's the rate of output for the input efforts that have just gone from the team or for the work. Now, while it is a very good metric for, uh, for teams, uh, who are working on machines whereas for people who are working on software and especially in an agile world uh, it's not a it's not a good metric the reason for that is the requirements market environment uh, expectations the prioritizations and a lot many other factors they keep on changing and hence it's not an apt metric so what is velocity velocity is basically the metric of work uh, done which is generally measured in story points. In another words, velocity is uh, just an amount of product backlog items or PBIs, which are converted into potentially releasable done increments at the end of the sprint. For velocity, we should not be focusing on uh, uh, the number. Uh, we should rather be focusing on delivering the value. Instead of increasing or decreasing the number of story points, we should be trying to use this uh, metric to find the scope for automations. Automations such as uh, continuous integration, maybe towards Git merge. Uh, automations such as continuous uh, deployment, such as Jenkins. Automations such as automated uh, testing, uh, maybe using Selenium or JUnit. With these automations in place, we would not only increase our velocity, we would also be able to deliver value faster and in a more effective way. At the end, velocity is just made up of arbitrary, uh, is just a sum of arbitrary numbers which are fictitious uh, for one particular team. Now, that fictitious number, the story point, would definitely change from an organization to another one, a team to a different team, projects, accounts, clients, and many other factors. Now, when, when we are actually considering velocity, it should be uh, considered and it is significant metric for a product owner because a product owner would then determine if that particular number uh, velocity uh, when taken into account, he would be able to determine if a certain functionality would be ready, ready by uh, X number of sprints or would it take more time? And what can be, what can we do? Maybe putting up at automations or reprioritizing our product backlog so that when we need that certain functionality in production, uh, we should be able to do, uh, we should be able to release it uh, in, in the market. Another factor is the same velocity or the same metric 
can also be used by our uh, business to make strategic decisions and understand and uh, determine again to uh, to understand when that particular functionality can be released into the market maybe a certain offer or certain uh, piece of software or feature when can that be uh, put up in the market for the end users to to use hello everyone so today's question is do you think that velocity is the proxy for productivity of your team so first of all let's see what is velocity velocity is the indication of the average amount of uh, product backlog that turn into an increment of product during a sprint uh, velocity is a key matrix for scrum team uh, velocity is an option to measure progress not the value of the team so velocity helps to decide how many product backlog items uh, may may uh, uh, how many product backlog items we need to forecast for the sprint uh, also uh, now let's see what is productivity so uh, in general the productivity is the relationship between the amount of output and input amount of input needed to produce a product so uh, productivity for a scrum team is measured by its ability to deliver a quality product that meets the team's uh, commitment and the uh, and the approval of uh, of the product owner so uh, product it can be used like uh, velocity can be used to introduce some predictability uh into a development effort we cannot say like velocity is uh, is the proxy for productivity because it's uh, it's like it's a predictability into a development effort but it it has nothing to do uh, with productivity so velocity can functionate depending on um sorry velocity can fluctuate can fluctuate uh, fluctuate depending on changes and resources availability like depending on holidays the plan leave sick leaves etc but the productivity should remain relatively constant or we can say uh, ideally the productivity should increase day by day uh, because uh, as like over time the uh, the team becomes more skilled and efficient so productivity should always increase but velocity can fluctuate depending on the changes and resources so to answer this question like do you think that the velocity is the proxy for productivity of your team so as per my understanding uh, sorry as per my uh, my understanding or uh, the my answer for this question is no velocity is a knock is not the proxy for productivity productivity is different than the velocity in q velocity is nowhere a proxy for the productivity velocity it is being used as a complementary practice on the real time but on the ground you see that is nowhere a proxy for the productivity 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 can be defined as an mvp if the particular scrum team is releasing an mvp in two months during the course of the two months you can have 15 20 35 divided by 3 you get some number that is a velocity but that it is nowhere that we consider yes it, for example you have got 20 based on the 20 nobody is happy with the 20 only management who is so obsessed with the metrics or the numbers is happy but you see at, at the end of the mvp release if the scrum team is doing the better job by releasing mvp to the market that way there we see the real product activity of a team then the when we the more you release the mvps to the market how frequently are you releasing it to the market there you see the real productivity of any scrum team not the velocity at all hi all this is kirti here and today's question is is velocity a mark of productivity uh, so according to me it is absolutely not the mark of a productivity two teams um, can have uh, a velocity of 20 and a velocity of 200 doing same amount of work um, but since um, that is the way they measure that doesn't mean 
that the person that the team who is uh, having a velocity of 200 is doing um 100 times more work than uh, 10 times more work than the previous team so uh, it is absolutely not the uh, velocity is not the mark of productivity uh, first thing uh, I would just like to go back and explain a velocity a bit so uh, velocity is the amount of work um, it's it's basically the number uh, which the teams calculates and delivers in a sprint so that number can uh, and that number is usually measured in story points so uh, that is something which is um, specific to the team first of all uh, it's a summation of complexity uh, risk and uh, efforts taken to close that um, story as done so it totally depends from story to story epic to epic and team to team to measure the way they want and that's the freedom of agile because um, you uh, self-organize the teams and you empower the teams to take their own decisions so uh, that doesn't mean that um, uh, the the teams who are uh, making it as higher number are actually the ones who are delivering more. So um, uh, the next thing is I would like to touch base upon is that um, it can actually over the period of time uh, as the team matures there are some expectation sets from the SMs in many of the organizations that as the, your team uh, matures the, your velocity should increase day by day so it can actually go other way around because as the team matures so their definition of done is uh, getting stringent day by day and they are adding to their definition of done so the same amount of work which they uh, might be you doing in three days uh, they are actually taking five days because they are adding a lot of security quality checks in it uh, which was earlier not the part of the de their definition of done so uh, definitely their velocity is basically going to reduce for the same amount of work because it's the story points we don't calculate only the man days right so um, so that's the catch that as your team matures it's not I am. this week's question is is velocity a proxy for productivity? We all know team's efficiency is measured using velocity. It gives us an indication that how much work can be completed by a team over a period of time. Velocity is just an indication of developing team's ability to turn the product backlog items into potentially releasable increment in each iteration. So there is nothing to do with uh, performance of the team by, with uh, considering the velocity. For example, if you are considering two vehicles, efficiency of those vehicles uh, will be based on different uh, parameters or aspects. Uh, I, I mean to say, it can be fuel economy or mileage etc. Likewise, we know that we should not uh, compare the velocity of two teams, but sometimes um, we can use the velocity of other team as a starting point uh, for what has to be done in the future we can just consider it but we should not compare the velocity of two different teams there can be various situation where velocity will be increasing or staying the same but performance will be way, uh, not the as expected for example uh, if velocity is increasing, maybe the quality might go down or uh, the work done is not um, potentially releasable. And if velocity is increasing but uh, the scrum team delivered work uh, did not satisfy the customer needs. What I mean, velocity is measured in terms of uh, story points. We know how important to measure the team's efficiency. Likewise. We have to track the team's performance and it is very much important in Scrum. Productivity is not just how many story points team have completed in particular sprint, but it is that what value or the actual delivery the team is able to um, produce or during the particular uh, sprint life cycle. Story points are helping the team to forecast how much work they can be taken during that particular sprint. It is not just to measure uh, any kind of productivity. There are various metrics that are used 
to increase the productivity it can be unit test case coverage teams happiness index continuous integration status and uh, regarding like how uh, the definition of done is tracked and feature usage index etc and also uh, thumbs up from the stakeholders to the new increment so there can be various ways how you can increase your productivity by keeping the workload for at least uh, a minimum one week or five days and analyze your uh, activities on day to day basis and try to prioritize your remaining activities and calculate what is the time required for any uh, remaining low priority activities so in general i can conclude that uh, velocity is not a good proxy for a productivity thank you